In the last video I have showed you the difference between the making a profit and being a profitable and once a company is no longer profitable it gets to some decline and finally to death. So let's, this is the, our final stage where we are getting in our organization's life cycle. So let's define what does it mean when we say that organization is on its decline. So we can start the this stage, so this stage so stage is is occurring when our company so our company company fails fails to adapt to adapt to external or internal pressures and i will change the color for this to external external or internal Pressures. Pressures. So this will mean that it will no longer be profitable. So why why it comes that a company will fail to adapt? Because well we when we think about it reasonably, we are willing to adapt, we are willing to survive, but sometimes uh, there will be some forces, so there will be a forces that will resist us to change. Resist to change. And this is due to the theoreticians called the organizational inertia. So, organizational, organizational inertia, inertia. And when you now see the term, these forces are going to be inside the organization. So, inside. We have discussed uh, some of these forces that are inside the organization that resist us to change so that we cannot really adapt to these external and internal pressures in the previous chapters. But now I would like to bring some more. The first that I would like to discuss is the risk aversion. So risk aversion. Aversion. Just imagine one word. Being comfortable. So comfortable. Remember, when you imagine our small graph of, of uh, life cycle, we are now at the very peak. So we are here. Everything is going well. We are having a lot of profits. So we feel really comfortable. And we have forgotten what does it mean to risk. So we have forgotten. Forgotten. And this is the reason why we will be no longer, because in our previous stages we were undertaking a lot of risk, but we will now forget to do so and we will maybe invest just some low amounts of money and due to that we will be no longer that shark in the environment. So the second point is going to be uh, the desire to maximize rewards. So desire to maximize, maximize rewards rewards let's take a small look again at this our small graph if we have had some profits in the early stages what do we have done with it we have reinvested it to the company so we were able to do some innovations but now we have we have had these profits and we have had these reinvestitions for uh, some long time already so we think or our managers think okay maybe now it is the right time that we take some rewards so that instead Instead uh, of reinvesting, reinvesting, we take the rewards. So we take rewards. And that is another reason. So we are no longer undertaking risks and we are no longer reinvesting uh, in, in favor of some innovations. And the last small point that I would like to talk about is the bureaucratic culture. So bureaucratic bureaucratic culture. Well, the, the bureaucracy itself is uh, not a really bad uh, term for our company, but if, if we think again about this small graph, um, imagine there, there are going to be several managers in this our growth stage, and every manager brings a little bit of more standardization and monitoring, and now our culture is simply over-bureaucratic. So over bureaucratic, and when we sum uh, these points, we are getting to organizational decline, and at some stage we will simply have something called the organizational death. And I'm going to discuss this in later videos. So hopefully see you there.